Another long overdue update here. How to clean chanterelles. One of the most difficult mushrooms to clean, as you will see, depending on where you pick them. These I'm picking in hardwood forest. And they are going to be some of the more tricky ones because there's dirt. If they're in pine woods, uh, you may not have a lot of dirt to worry about. You might just have to brush some needles off. But the process here of harvesting, just like with other mushrooms, it starts in the field. Cleaning starts in the field. We're going to trim the mushrooms, trim the dirt from the stems. And this drives me crazy every year when people send me images of like victory baskets and stuff like that. And there's clumps of dirt on every single mushroom. I, ju I just cannot, I cannot deal with that. As you can see from this image where I couldn't remove the text overlay. So just remove the dirt from the stem. It's not rocket science. Clean mushrooms and only clean mushrooms go into the basket. Okay? Now for cleaning. This is the most important part because depending on your species and how big they are or just when you harvested them or if it rained beforehand or if it was dry, uh, it can mean different things. So the biggest thing to know is that every single mushroom is trimmed and cleaned individually. And this is, this takes time. Okay. This is not a fast process. Put a podcast on and get to work. You can see I'm inspecting the mushrooms for quality too. That one felt soft. So I cut it in half and I'm just using the tip of that paring knife to scrape away any pieces of dirt that I can see. And I'll do a close up here. And then I'll show you how to clean a larger chanterelle. The buttons are going to be the most painstaking to clean. They're also up worth about double the price of regular chanterelles. But I just take my knife, I give it a swish in water, and then I scrape away false gills where I can see dirt. I'm just spot treating there with the tip of the knife. And the first time I cleaned chanterelles, I had to clean 60 pounds for a restaurant for our opening day. We did not use water the first time, and we had to clean all 60 pounds again the next day because there is grit in the food and customers complained on opening day. Be thorough. Buttons are a pain. You may just have to cut pieces away because the dirt and stuff can, it can grow inside of the mushrooms occasionally. It's not as big of a problem with chanterelles. It's more of a thing with polypores. I'll scrape on the caps too if I see little veins of dirt or things like that because this can be really tricky. Now with a big chanterelle, I mean, just look at all the dirt that is inside that. Look at all the dirt in those false gills. So with a big one like this, I mean, you're basically going to scrape away all of the false gills, which is kind of sad, but if you want a grit-free meal, that's what you got to do. And you're going to see by the time I'm done here, the amount of dirt in the sink, it's going to blow your mind. But the simple process is very effective. It just takes time. You know, the most exciting part about hunting mushrooms is finding them. Cleaning is something people put off. And if you put off cleaning, the mushrooms are going to dry out in the fridge. Just look at all that dirt that's left over. Some people just put that in their food. And when you're storing them, just clean them, put them in a Ziploc bag with a paper towel. They'll last for over a week. And they should look nice and clean like that. Now for cooking. One nice trick for chanterelles, and generally speaking, we want to cook chanterelles whole, especially the buttons. If they're very large, obviously like Cantharelles californicus is huge. Cut those up into pieces like any other mushroom. But the buttons are the most prized. So for a wet saute that I'll use if my mushrooms were a little dry, you can put a little film of water in the pan, bring that up to a simmer, and then we're just going to cook until the mushrooms wilt. And then after that water has evaporated, there will be some solutes left in the pan that we don't want to burn. So we're going to add a little bit of butter, and we're going to move that all around. You want to use a non-stick pan for this. They could stick in stainless steel. You could always add a splash of wine to deglaze the pan. We'll add some fat, add a little shallot, and voila. That's an easy way to cook them. There you go. How to clean chanterelles. Thanks for watching.